Welcome back to another video from your friends here at Altitude University. I'm David, and today we are going to talk about how to recover your drone if it gets stuck in a tree or lost on someone's property due to an accident, dead battery, or technical issue. Before we begin, please hit those like and subscribe buttons so we can continue providing you with more drone-related content. Drones offer a unique and exhilarating perspective of the world, but sometimes, due to pilot error, technical malfunctions, or unexpected conditions, they can get stuck in trees or land on private property. Knowing how to recover your drone safely and responsibly is essential for any drone operator. I was once filming land in the middle of the Mojave Desert. As I was completing my last flight, a technical malfunction spun the drone in the opposite direction from where I was, and it flew off into the wilderness until the battery died. When I looked at the GPS location of where the drone landed, I saw that it was in an area I could never have reached safely. I had to write the drone off as a loss. Thankfully, I had insurance, and thankfully, not all situations end in losing a drone. If you find yourself in a situation where you can safely recover the drone, like when it gets stuck in a tree or on someone's property, use our guide to help solve the problem. Start by assessing the situation. Safety first. Before attempting to recover your drone, evaluate the situation. Ensure that you are not putting yourself or others in danger. If the drone is in a high or dangerous position, consider the risks involved in retrieval. Next is location. Determine the exact location of the drone. Use the drone's GPS or built-in Find My Drone feature if available. This helps you locate the drone accurately, especially if it's not immediately visible. Next is a damage check. If the drone is crashed, check for any visible damage from a safe distance. Assess if it is safe to handle, particularly if there are broken parts or exposed wires. Let's look at recovering a drone from a tree. Here are a few options to consider. Manual retrieval. If the drone is within reach, you may be able to retrieve it manually. Use a ladder to carefully climb up to the drone's location. Ensure the ladder is stable and have someone spot you for added safety. Next, use a pole. For drones stuck higher up, a long pole can be useful. Gently nudge the drone from the tree, taking care not to damage it further. Telescopic poles or painter's poles are particularly effective for this purpose. A third option is throwing objects. In some cases, throwing a soft object like a tennis ball tied to a string can dislodge your drone. This method should be used with caution to avoid causing further damage to the drone or the tree. Finally, professional help. If the drone is too high or the retrieval seems too dangerous, it's best to seek professional help. Arborists or tree service professionals have the tools and expertise to safely retrieve objects from trees. Now, let's look at recovering a drone from private property. First, you need to identify the property owner. If your drone has landed on private property, the first step is to identify and contact the property owner. Be respectful and explain the situation politely. Most people will understand and appreciate your honesty. Next is requesting permission. Never enter private property without permission. Once you've identified the owner, ask for permission to retrieve your drone. Offer to show them the drone's location using the device's GPS or the drone's built-in tracking feature. Third is escorting. If the property owner agrees, ask if they can escort you to the drone's location. This ensures you are not trespassing and helps build trust with the property owner. Don't forget to offer assistance. If retrieving the drone requires climbing or using tools, offer to help or provide the necessary equipment. Ensure the property owner is comfortable with the retrieval process. Of course, the best plan is to avoid these situations altogether, so here are a few additional recommendations to help you not be in these positions. Flight planning. Before flying, plan your flight path carefully. Avoid flying near densely wooded areas, tall trees, or private properties. Open fields or designated flying zones are safer choices. Altitude management. Keep your drone at a safe altitude to avoid obstacles. Flying higher can help avoid trees and other potential hazards. Battery management. Monitor your drone's battery life closely. Set return to home thresholds to ensure your drone has enough power to return safely before the battery runs out. I never let the drones go below 20% before making sure they return to me. Propeller guards. Using propeller guards can help reduce the risk of getting stuck in trees or other obstacles. They can also minimize the damage to the drone and the environment in case there is a collision. Visual line of sight. Always maintain a visual line of sight with your drone. This helps you maneuver better and avoid obstacles. It's also one of the legal requirements when flying commercially. Pre-flight checks. 
Remember, thorough pre-flight checks. Ensure that the GPS is working, the battery is fully charged, and the drone's firmware is up to date. This reduces the risks of malfunctions during flight. A quick note on legal and ethical considerations. Privacy respect. Always respect the privacy of others. Avoid flying over private property or capturing images without permission. Understanding and adhering to local laws and regulations is crucial. Responsibility. As a drone operator, you are responsible for any damage or disturbance caused by your drone. If your drone causes damage to property, be prepared to offer compensation or assistance in repair. Regulatory compliance. Familiarize yourself with the FAA regulations and any local drone laws. Ensure your drone is registered and adheres to the no-fly zones and altitude restrictions. Recovering a drone stuck in a tree or on private property can be challenging, but it's crucial to approach the situation with safety, responsibility, and respect. By following the outlined steps, you can retrieve your drone without causing harm or legal issues. Preventive measures such as careful flight planning and regular pre-flight checks can significantly reduce the chance of such incidents occurring. Always remember to fly responsibly and respect the privacy and property of others. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. From all of us here at Altitude University, stay safe out there. Happy flying.